G'day viewers all, today I'm going to try and pop this fluorescent light tube. Still works. i just put it out here, stick it right in the ground. That'll connect to the earth. And a mop will go to that end. A high voltage will go straight through that to earth. And that will just light up normally. Also, I'm going to use the jiggery poke you set up I made as a, a set of that. So this will be my new ballast. I'm going to be using this vacuum cleaner to ballast this mod. So while I set this up, I'm going to also, after I've done that, I'm going to vary act this. That'll, this, that'll be the ballast. And I'll vary act it with this in the series, this crappy speaker. And slowly bring up the current and see what voltage this will pop and see how much current the vacuum cleaner or the, how much current this could withstand to run that vacuum cleaner. So I plug it straight in that, then straight in that, it's going to and turn that on, the sudden in rush current, I just pop it suddenly. So using a variac, I'll slowly bring the current up carefully. The way I'll have more time to burn here. So first I'll get this bulb lit up in the ground and do some more mop burning up in the earth. And I'll just do the same thing with that in series at a vacuum cleaner. And see how much current that can balance the vacuum cleaner. And see what it does. So okay, we also connect it to earth. Bring this up here. Oh, I'll try to get this ready. Hey, whiskers, you come to join the show. Better not get this going when the cat's here. Don't want you to get fired now, do I? Hey? Oh, I can't. Alright. We'll plug in. I've also filled this up all with silicon spray. All the mechanism in here works, so the plugs don't jam up anymore. And the switches actually work quite well now, mechanically, so this little power board's much better now. So the power's on. You can just hit a vacuum cleaner in there. And you can see the meter turning slowly as well. Arc test. Not as much current on the output, but... Ta-da! Vacuum cleaner is a ballast for a fluorescent light tube. Single filament? Ah, oh, right, not up. It's resonating through the transformer, making a little whizzing sound. Now, yeah, weed. This thing to stand up, I could fly it from top to bottom. There we go. Kill the weeds. You can kind of hear it whizzing through the arc, the vacuum cleaner, as it takes power. It's like a motor noise. Alright. Switch off. Unplug. Always unplug. Very important. I've completed from where I left off, so... Probably use only... Not even a tenth of a tenth of a kilowatt hour yet on that little dial there, so... Let's try something else as a ballast. Okay, we also see if the um, start winding and that can pull enough current to jolt this into action. That's what it does. Wash machine radio ballast. And that is humming. Cool. The matter does a lot of humming instead of the transformer. Makes a nice hum in the background.
Hmm, the matter adds to our sound effects. Alright. Unplug. Safety first. Let's try something else. Alright, viewers. That's my ballast for the mod. The run filament in that light. Let's see what this stuff's gonna take a power on. I might pop straight away, but we'll see what happens. 3, 2, 1. Whoa, cool. Let's put power on the mod. Oh, there you go. Open circuit. It's hissing and it fractured. That was cool. There we go. Open circuit and it stopped dead on zero. The meter's creeping backwards slowly. Power off and it stops creeping. Unplug. Very important. So, that there. Or we'll closer inspection. There you go. I was waiting for the hissing stops completely before you approach because it could just go just as it did there, suddenly rupture and you could get glass glass thrown at you, even hit you in the eye. But you can see there, filament is totally vaporized. That was a nice little pop. Clean cut. So let's try the other side, it's just gonna pop straight away. Because it's um the air is just gonna be reacting with it. There's no um gases in there to pass the electrons to give to give you light, so we'll look inside here. There we are. This is just going to pop straight away, but this is going to look interesting when it does. So we'll connect this up and we'll try again with this end. Air exposure. So yeah, let's try that. Okay, viewers. Other end's connected now. Power on. This is going to pop straight away. 3, 2, 1. Ah, oh, that was cool. A flash and a little pop. Hmm. Unplug. I wonder what happened if I filled that with water. Chuck some salt and water in there. Make a conductive cocktail. Let's see what that does as a ballast. Could be interesting. Okay, viewers, change of plan. Secondary of the mot, 2 kV. Straight in the open filament in that water. Wash machine matter as a ballast. It's probably not going to be as exciting as expected, but let's see what happens. The outside's a bit wet, so we'll see what happens. Yeah. The electrons are passing. The motor's humming slightly. It's going to heat that water up there. You can look down with the camera. Yeah, you can see little bits of bubble, bubbles coming out the top. Camera can't pick it up, but the water's heating up. There you go. Little bubbles coming up. We've got a little water heater inside of a fluorescent light tube. Meter's kicking over slowly. Get a bit of a hum there. Let that boil away. I might need more um, power though, so. Okay, if yours, I'm using a much bigger motor now, so let's see what this does. Yeah, it's better, a bit more power now. Nice little hum. And we've got boiling water there for here arcing. Yeah, it's starting to boil. Hand on the power point, just in case it bursts and we get conducting water all over the floor. Yeah, it's a flash in that water. Oh, a lightning storm under the, in the bowl. Nice. Oh, I'm 
I'm disappointed. Safety first. Especially when you're doing something like this, it's very important that you unplug and isolate your circuit. Physical brake. Very important. Alright, just check for heat. Huh. That doesn't get hot. Um, even with that motor on it, so that's good. Yeah, it got a bit hotter. All right, viewers. Toast so that it's insulated by the rubber mat, plastic base, which is separating the mop from touching the metal part of the toaster, which is insulated from that by the rubber mat. Bit of rubber, uh, rubber mat there. And then let's see what happens. There might be a bit of moisture between those pins, so let's see what it does. Awesome. Now, I've lifted the mop off the ground in case that ruptures and water goes everywhere. Jumping from yeah, it's, yeah, it's arcing out um, past those pins. Hmm. Put something in that in that end. Boil it through that way. Okay, safety first. Yeah, not very much warm there at all. Oh, it's shorting it, that's why. Oops, there you go. Just break the glaive even more. That's what I'm going to do, not let those touch. To rearrange these wires a bit. Let's try that. There we go. Now let's try it. That's better. Safety first. Now it's moving from the vibration, so that's going to make it fall and smash. So I'll get this set up. So it leans. That might be better. Get it on the edge here. More secure. Now let's try again. There you go, that's something never done before with a fluorescent light tube. Spark up underwater. And the water's getting hot quickly. A metre spinning. No, if this does rupture, not only is it dangerous, and it can start a fire. Because water is conductive after all, especially at that voltage. There you go. Water's boiling away there. I've got flames under the water. The water's getting hot enough. Oh no, if this water's going to get super heated by the way that arc, uh, that by uh, judging by the arcs under the water there, that arc up, so be very careful. The bulb could rupture from the temperature too. I probably can't pick up the flash, but I can see that it sparks, it arcs, just can't pick it up. Yeah, kind of sucks, it looks cool seeing the arc up underwater. This camera can't pick it up. Getting hot. There you go, the world's most dangerous water heater. Uh, nearly a tenth of a kilowatt hour I used. Steam's coming out. 
There you go, they've got boiling water. Safety first. Okay, bills. Valley X on zero. Vacuum cleaner switched on. Speakers connected. It's all turned on there. So let's get this all plugged in and we'll see what happens. I'm going to slide a turn of power up and look at the speaker. Let that build up the then turn it on. Reduce the shift in the speaker. That's 60 volts so far. That's 100 volts. Let that catch up. 120. Let that catch up. One sixty. Yeah, do it in stages. One eighty. Two hundred volts. That's a point two five watt speaker. Two twenty. Oh, two twenty. It's starting to smoke. 240 volts. That was a nice little pop. There you go. Oh, I popped it. And I got flames as a bonus. Yay. Don't want to burn my caravan down there. <sighs> Safety first. So yeah, I got about... About 200... A little bit over 240. About 242 volts. So, a little bit higher than normal, but... It lasted the whole way, all the way up to 240 at least, so that was kind of interesting, little pop. So yeah, let's look at the carnage. Unplug, safety first. Unplug. Alright. Voice core blew up in there. Suspension still works, so there you go. 8 ohm, 0.25 watt. It actually handled 240 volts going through it. So there, there's where it popped there. It didn't actually pop in there. It would have, it would have um, judging by the smoke, it was uh, shorting out because it would have melted the um, insulation. And that would have shorted, and that, as it connected through the cone here, that would have took all the power, and that's where it popped here, so. Yeah, that one is still connected. Just acted like a fuse. But there you go. Thanks for watching.